Since 2023, Zimbabwean authorities have been taking steps to overhaul regulation of a sector that has been dogged by controversy. The launch of a first-ever blockchain-based carbon registry will restore the integrity of trade in carbon credits. It's tamper-proof. It's immutable. It's transparent. It's traceable. That data can never change, and it gives absolute confidence that these assets can be trusted by all. There's no incentive to greenwash. Everyone can see what you're doing. Those credits that you generate from projects that aren't have, do not have sustainability at their heart, those will sell for less amount of money. Double counting, in, in essence, is something that the blockchain solves on its own. Zimbabwe has also tightened regulations, including stipulating the benefits that are meant to trickle down to communities where projects are implemented. Every new project created within Zimbabwe, as it goes through its project onboarding, will have to provide evidence that 20% of all of the money that they are investing into this project is going directly to the local community. And when it goes to the local community, 10% of that 20 has to be on clean electricity. The blockchain registry means that Zimbabwe will not just be a world leader in Article 6 compliance, but can now also unlock billions of dollars of potential investment into the sector. The country is hoping to revive activity in the sector, which had stalled after it changed regulations in 2023. Zimbabwe needs carbon trades to happen. The more trades that happen, the more people are interested, the more money is invested and the more players we have in this space. So we, we need to play catch up as well. There's other parts of the continent which have got more carbon projects kind of happening now and are very successful. And there's no reason Zimbabwe can't join that party. Um, I'm looking at it at uh, potential 20 billion in the uh, next three years. If everything has been uh, done properly uh, because we have um, nature-based carbon credits, we have tech-based carbon credits. You can uh, focus on the reduction of methane uh, through technologies like biogas. So it's not only forests, it's not only uh, nature-based credits, but they are a whole lot. Zimbabwe set up a carbon agency to regulate the sector. Farai Mokutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.